Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate, hard by the darkest dungeon where things are starting to look up for a change. Isn't that nice? We're finally in five figures in the money. Got quite a few crests, actually. Let's take another look at districts again, because I don't believe there's any crest ones that are below 200. Puppet Theatre would be a good investment. Uh, outside is Bonfire and Training Winner 300. Sanguine Winner is... What, what was it? It was 200 again. Oh, I can't remember. I mean, we're not getting those 50 portraits anytime soon. But this week, a lot of heroes are going to go in for stress recovery. About three or four of them, I think. So, goals at the moment. Defeat the mid-level bosses. Uh, so the Prophet, the Unstable Flesh, and the Cannon. Now, we're going to want a man at arms for the Prophet, and we're going to want a man at arms for the Cannon. It's possible. We're also probably going to want a Vestal for both of those, and as fate would have it, Sister Wendy is likely to hit fifth after just one of them. She has a lot of stress. And we're going to want her to go on a boss run next week. I think this week is not a boss run week, by the way. I think this week is a low-level quest week. Ah, uh, if we go remove Anemic. Ah, it's full up. Okay. So. Rosnav has fear of unholy. He's very scared of unholy things. Let's actually send him to the Abbey to pray to the gods to protect him and take away his fear. The soothing influences of the calm abbey will help him there. Now, who else do we want to go removing stress from? I think... Um, right. So, some thoughts here. Kasham has two stress. She'll be fine after a week in town. Fatima and Jamila, on the other hand, have more stress. Hopeless. Ah, but she's not afflicted. Right. We'll send her to the inn to... No, we won't. Okay. Enlightened. Very well, then. Good for her. That's nice and cheap. Lincia Viserine is level 3 with shocking skills and equipment, so let's get her some better armor. I like that. Chunk. Nice big pauldrons there coming on the sides. They're not too big, but the armor just visually expanded, both in the pauldrons and the folds. And... I'm thinking these four are going to be sent out on a quest. And then next week, I think I'll send these three, and maybe Sister Wendy, up against the crow. Oh, wait, no, we need to keep her low level for bosses, but I'm thinking of sending a party up against the crow. Now then. We can't get skills any cheaper. Alright. Fennel? Improve that and that. I did say more heroes were going to go in stress recovery this week. And ideally about three of them. There we go. Lovely. And if we line up our low-level quest, we have this one or this one. 
And this has got potential, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, got a bit of an issue with available ranks here. Needing more bat rankers, needing more support healer characters. Could have a witch or a plague doctor, or I could just wait a week. Hmm. Right, let's up this. Because I can afford to spend a little more money. If we have anyone who's like level 5 with level 2 skills, but they use frequently. Level 4 comes close enough. Alright. There we go. And in light of only having 5,000, it might be worth going for the shorter quest, which would get us busts. We don't need busts unless it's for town upgrades. And this would get us crests, which we don't need again. That's nice. But let's just go for the short quest for now. This is like a reset week, a recovery week. So sure. Yeah. Um. Do we want him in rank 3? Okay, okay, this is definitely wanting a short. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. If we're getting that much food for free, that's the wrong building. There we go. And we don't want her to take any bleed skills into the ruins because bleed skills in the ruins aren't that spectacular. Okay, so that's all the food we need. <laughs> and yeah. just in case. Right. In we go. Into the crumbling edifice. Pace out the halls of your Ooh. lineage once familiar. Now, okay. Boren. Interesting layout. Do you have it? No, you don't. Well, this is going to be very interesting for Ethel, I must say. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Hmm. Well, okay then. Ulfred, deal with this however you see best. I thought that would be the case. Your machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Let's just wash away some of those ashes and draw away some meager valuables. Probably shouldn't have bothered. Should have saved that holy water for something important. And I'll go. Oh, books. Lovely. She's from Kingdom Death, she likes books. And now she is scared of people, like quite a few Kingdom Death characters actually. All the hands and other bits of human anatomy, yep, yeah, I can see why she'd get that. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I do wish he'd say now instead of how. As like about a quarter of the time he does say now. It's so bizarre. Oh good, more books. 
Wow. Both wheel and woe. Alright, you. Yeah. We'll light up a torch because it's going to start. We don't need to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're in the ruins. Um. Yeah, okay. So, Slaver Beast is less useful here. Getting tense as we draw near to the enemy. Our first taste of conflict in these ancient halls. Okay, interesting. Can we get a double stun? Double stun! Nice. Be gone, fiend. Another one falls. There we go. And a double blight. And he gets to heal up. Oh, this is working out nicely. Because then we get a whirlwind attack. And I think that one's now going to perish. A death by inches. By the end of the round, in fact, rather swiftly as it turned out. And he can rush up to the front. She can rush up to the... Okay, she can only advance towards the front. And we can remove some stress and gain some torchlight. And then he is a threat no more. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. There we go. On our last torch now. Heading towards the end of the dungeon. We're going to have to rely on our Twilight Knight to keep the light levels high. Alright, what have we got? Oh, two skeletons. Isn't it nice to have things this refresh and easy? Just a little call back to the old days. And she'll just shout at them. So I'm getting a kind of positive feel from this run. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I mean, you know, I wasn't expecting too much of a challenge. Just to go in. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Get some treasure. Come out. And be ready to progress on into the next week. We even get another torch here, that's nice. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I mean, yeah, it didn't yield massive amounts of treasure or anything, but it was it was a you know a, you could say a filler week, more of a recovery week. Not that much recovery was needed, truth be told. Oh you should not have done that. 
darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Yeah! Because otherwise, that can happen. You can bleed. And we can have some light back, please. Not much light, admittedly, but some, all the same. Badly hurt, technically, at two points of damage. Not that two points really count so much at the moment. Um, also, let me know how the volume is these last few episodes, because I have adjusted my microphone volume now as people were claiming my voice was a bit quiet. And if it is, yeah, you know, if you can hear me better, let me know. If you think I need to tweak it a bit more, also let me know. I appreciate your feedback. He's gone next turn now. Don't need to worry about him. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. She can just get angry. And we can fix him up a little bit as well. And remove some stress. Even better. And so that fight was in near darkness and we gained the Dark Bracer as a reward from it. <laughs> okay, let's head back to the hamlet and see what awaits us there. The great ruins belong to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. I'm surprised the Crimson Court is trying isn't trying to force me to go in there yet. It probably will soon enough. Cove Scranger, okay. Torn Rotator, bad. Needs treatment fast. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay, Fatima refuses to stop meditating. Things have gone well in the asylum. Um. Yeah. Haven't really changed much on the heirlooms front. Do we have... No, we don't. We don't have a good healer to hand. That's unfortunate. Well... Someone needs treating. Uh, and I could probably do some... Really? Okay. Hyromania and Faithless. That just doesn't make sense. Okay. Look, that's getting treated. Gonna cost a fair bit. But there we go. And with that, I think I'll be leaving it for this week. But I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Until later, I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!